Today I'd like to show you a few different things, a few updates to our online classroom. And so uh, hopefully these updates are easier for you to navigate and access online content. And so here we go. Right now we're in the course home. So if you press course home, uh, this is what you're going to see. You're going to see announcements at the top. And announcements are just quick ways that I can uh, give you information or updates and such. So you can click those and get that quick information. Uh, you can click all of them if you want to. And so uh, this is a great way to answer maybe a question you have. And I've already posted it as an announcement. And then if for some reason an announcement does not answer your question, then you can email me and I can answer your question. This also, if you email me and uh, I can answer your questions, then I can uh, add that to my announcements so other people can access that. Uh, below is what's new. Uh, so anything that I've sort of posted recently will come up here. And so you can see that there, discussion question uh, number two, and you can press go. And that's gonna take you directly to that. At the bottom here is a good course checklist. You can click course checklist on the right hand side here. And that's going to take you here. At first it's organized by unit. You can sort by due date. And then the uh, due dates show up on the right hand side. Anything in red has already passed due. And anything in black you can still uh, complete and need to complete. And sometimes they show up twice. Uh, so you see a discussion question two here, discussion question two here. That's just because they're in two locations. So unit six and unit one. That doesn't mean you need to uh, do that discussion question twice. And the due data show up here. Then you can just click on go, you know, a particular uh, item that's due, push go, and it'll take you directly to that item. Over here on the left-hand side, go back to Course Home. On the left-hand side, these are all called unit folders. And so uh, I've organized this a little bit differently. Because we're going to have discussion questions, do the math problems, video lectures, multiple choice and free response questions every single chapter, I've just created their own folder. And so you can go to these folders. So we'll just click on them. Discussion questions uh, unit folder click on it. Right now we only have DQ number two here, but you'll then start to see number three, number four, number five, each time we have an online uh, classroom meeting. Gives you a little bit of information uh, in the introduction once you click that folder. I'll be providing more guidelines and more details to what I expect in a di discussion question response uh, later. Click on the item in that folder, DQ number two, it pulls up, gives you some brief guidelines. Here's a discussion question, and then uh, you can click respond and respond to the discussion question. We'll talk about discussion question and my expectations in another video. You then every chapter will have do the math, sometimes multiple do the math problems. And so you can click that folder. Oops. Gives you a brief introduction to do the math uh, this will be updated as well with more details and guidelines. You can then click uh, do the math for a particular week or day. You click that. Here's the math problem. Uh, you solve it without a ca calculator. You show your work. The work that you show on a separate sheet of paper uh, you will bring to me the next class period or class meeting and then you'll give me the solution uh, in the Dropbox. Underneath that is video lectures. You click video lectures. I haven't updated any introduction to video lectures yet, but you'll find chapter one video lectures there now. Sometimes it takes a little bit longer for the videos to load. Hopefully they do load. <laughs> uh, here's the uh, all the video lectures for chapter one. So you just push play and there you go. Or you can click uh, the title and that'll take you to YouTube. You can also go full screen, you know how to use it. So you'll see chapter two video lectures, chapter three video lectures, so on and so forth uh, as we go along through the course. This unit folder, multiple choice and free response questions. Every single chapter, 
uh, we'll have multiple choice and free response questions to help you uh, sort of prepare for taking that AP exam. Uh, this is a brief description of what to do. I'll update this with more guidelines and expectations later. We have chapter one questions. Again, every chapter will have these. Click on chapter one questions and the questions show up right in that um, spot. So you answer those on a separate sheet of paper uh, or you're, you can send me an email document or a document and send me an email uh, prior to the, the class meeting. Also in these folders are chapter folders. And so each chapter has all of the contents for uh, the chapter that we've done. You can access things through here. Sometimes there'll be, you know, uh, things in multiple spots. So discussion question number two is in chapter two, but it's also in discussion questions. So you can access it in different spots and, and maybe that'd be helpful. Maybe I, uh, we'll see how that works. So we'll go back to course home. Uh, at the top here, we have many different things. I'll just go through a few. First, you can email me through uh, using this learning platform. You can you select recipient. You can email anybody in the class if you have a question for them, homework, whatever. Or you can email me. Just simply push add. There I am. Add a subject. Be as specific as possible in your subject. Write your uh, message content. Push send message. Pretty basic. Uh, doc sharing. So if I've shared a document with you, you would go come here. There'll be more folders than just course files. There'll be chapter one, chapter two, labs, etc. Uh, here, I'll share documents with you. You click the folder. It opens up the contents of that folder, which is a calendar at this point and syllabus. Click on the calendar. It downloads it to your computer. Now you always have that document. Dropbox. Click Dropbox top and uh, here's all the auto items that I've made a Dropbox for and so uh, you should you know for this one do the math you're going to follow the directions uh, provide me a solution and send it in the Dropbox other things like live gradebook journal these things we'll get to uh, later but that should give you mostly new things that we'll have here and uh, hopefully that helps uh, the course online well the course will evolve but the online content will evolve as we move forward things that uh, work well we'll use those more things that don't work uh, we will cut those out or change them so there may be more videos updating you on new online course content or organization and so look out for those videos